I got involved in geopolitics the fall of my freshman year. I joined Jonathan Burke's SST, and from there I was just absolutely hooked. A friend of mine brought me on to The Fly, which is the student-run flagship podcast of geopolitics. I kept coming to discussion groups, I went to office hours, I attended almost every forum event that geopolitics did that semester. Politics has been one of my interests since I was very young, especially growing up in a swing state in Arizona. So I got involved the day I got here. My first year at Georgetown, I did the pre-orientation campaign boot camp. I was an active member on student strategy teams for Terry McAuliffe. Fellow Rory Cooper. Tom Perez's student strategy team. Got involved in GU Votes. And then the following semester, I became a team lead for Alyssa Farah. For Sarah Sendak. First semester was for Katie Harbath, and this semester was for Elaine Luria. I also was a staff writer, a columnist, and then I was a lead editor at On the Record. I've also been the managing director and communications director for The Fly. Primarily, I've worked on the podcast. Podcast. I've also been pre-O leader for the past three years. And this institute has really taught me the essence of being bipartisan. In particular, being able to hear from policymakers and political operators on both sides of the aisle, journalists also. Who genuinely embody and believe in the mission here at Geopolitics, which is to listen well to others and to have really civil but thoughtful conversations. It was really at geopolitics that I learned that I wanted to be a journalist, from trying out journalism at On the Record to eventually now getting to cover national politics. So I'm very excited. I'm going to be a Politico fellow. Just going across town to uh, Georgetown Law. I'm headed to India on a research Fulbright. I'm going into cybersecurity after graduation, and it's because of that experience. On Sarah Sendik's student strategy team, I got to work with Sarah right after the 2020 election around election security. So I'll be a cyber officer in the U.S. Army after graduation. My fondest memory is my freshman year. We had the Climate Change Forum. Probably the coolest thing I've done to date was at 18 years old, being able to introduce Secretary Castro at the Climate Forum. I was able to ask Andrew Yang a question on national television. I don't know a lot of other places where that would just randomly happen. Karen Travers, who was one of the fellows at Geopolitics, took us all to the White House and we were able to see it up close. Mia Love was a fellow and we were all on a Zoom call. It was election night for the presidential election. She'd put us on and say, you are representing X candidate and X situation has just happened. You're on cable TV, give the spin. I'm an army officer by trade. I was able to interact with John Kirby. That was an interesting confluence between my work life and my personal life. Easily my fondest memory was the Iowa trip where we met presidential candidates, campaign operatives, political advisors from across the spectrum, across all the campaigns that were happening in 2020. Mo just kind of pointing out who everyone was. That guy, yeah, manages Pete Buttigieg. And it was just a very surreal experience to see politics unfold in real time. I would say do it. Don't give it a second thought. Get involved early and often. You, you get out what you put in. Really be intentional about being present here in the living room. Learn about perspectives and people that you never would have encountered anywhere else. They have so much programming. All you got to do is show up and there's a community for you. Today that I'm here, I feel like I'm back home. It's been like a second home to me. Play Saxon! <laughs>